This Week in Agribusiness. Serving America's most essential industry is brought to you by ADM. Now here's America's legendary ag broadcast team, Max Armstrong and Orion Samuelson. Welcome back to this weekend's edition of This Week in Agribusiness. I've been told several times over the years I may not always agree with Mr. Samuelson, but I appreciate his taking a stand on a number of issues. You do get a response, don't you? Indeed I do, and going back to early December, Samuelson says was devoted to a draft statement by the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America that quite a few farmers perceived as being anti-farmer, anti-biotechnology. So a few days ago, I sat down with the presiding bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Mark Hansen, and we talked about how policy statements are developed. It was people in northeast Iowa that called on our church to develop a statement about genetics. Mm -hmm. We have a very participatory process. We develop a draft. The reference you are making is to a draft that people commented on. Now the proposed social statement is back out before the church. It will be engaged in by our bishops this weekend, by our church council, ultimately passed on to our churchwide assembly next August. So this statement is before the church. The church is engaging it. It is very much honoring farming as a vocation that God has called people to. Do you know that 47% of our congregations are in rural communities or communities of 10,000 people or less? So we really are a church of farming people and uh, rural people. Uh, we believe deeply that farming is a God-given call and that farmers are exercising that call as they feed the hungry in the world, as they care for the creation, as they provide for their own families and communities. So we do not seek to tell farmers how to farm. We invite farmers into conversation about what do this explosion of genetics and knowledge mean for people of faith to be responsible about using the great power we have now. Has the language been changed because the perception among some people was you were going to tell farmers they could or could not use biotechnology. Right, and we clearly have made adjustments so that we recognize that we are not condemning uh, GMOs. Mm -hmm. We recognize that they are uh, part of God's gift of creation, uh, of knowledge, of power, but we are saying how do we always use this explosive knowledge responsibly? Responsibly for future generations, responsibly for the care of the creation, responsibly for as a way to feed more and more people. Bishop Hansen does bring a farming background to those discussions at the ELCA. I think about the little farm in Astoria, South Dakota, where my dad grew up, or the sheep ranch out in Harding County where my father-in-law was on a sheep wagon taking high school by correspondence. The questions that those farmers have today are so much more complex. I went into a farm north of Scranton, uh, North Dakota, where a friend is. I thought I was in a computer center. You were. I was. <laughs> All of the technology about weather and depth of planting. And I thought, the capacity we now have to feed the world and the complexity that comes with it beckons us to say, how do we use it responsibly? The thoughts of the presiding bishop of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Mark Hansen.